Hey guys, just a really quick tip for you. If you are a Mac using photographer and you're looking at a way of streamlining the process of transferring your media from your SD card and onto your Mac. Now, of course, you can do that manually. You could fire up something like uh, Forklift, which I've got here, or just Finder, and you can click your SD card and drag them into your photo directory. And there's nothing wrong with doing that, but it's a bit of a pain in the ass, particularly if you've got lots of files. And I just wanted some sort of set and forget way of doing it. And the software that I found that meets my requirements is a little script called Hazel. And what this does is it monitors my SD card, it notices when it's been inserted, and it copies the RAF files to a folder on my computer and it copies the JPEGs into a different folder. Uh, it does a little bit more than that, and I'll just explain it to you. If I edit this script, you can see what's going on. So here we go. This is my script called copy RAF photos. Those are the Fujifilm RAW format .raf, and it's monitoring my 100 Fuji folder on my SD card, and it says if the extension is RAF, then do these things down here, okay? The first thing it does is it copies them to a folder on my main photos drive. And you can see there's a few options around here. So if I uh, have reinserted the SD card for some reason, it won't duplicate it. It won't copy it twice. So that's the first thing it does. The next thing it does is it sorts it into a subfolder with a pattern that I have created that just suits the way I file. Let me just quickly show you what I do. Everyone does it differently, but I just store things by year. And then in there, uh, I've got this American style date thing. It's not particularly because I like the American style date thing. It was just the first bit of software I had did it that way. And I cannot be asked to change it. So ever since then, I've done this year, month, day format, which is a bit arse about face, but if you do it differently, that's fine. You can do that. So what this software does is it uh, copies everything over, but it sorts them into this folder. So if I click in here, uh, let's go into this. You can see that if we go in here, edit the date pattern, it's looking for the year first. So that combines with, let me go back to this, this main year folder. So the first thing it does is it looks for that year folder. Okay. Then if we close that, uh, it's, this is saying do another folder option here. If we click on this one, edit the date pattern, we can see it then creates a subfolder with the format year, uh, month, day, like my American style format. And as you can see from these options here, you can set up any format you like, you know, English, European, or you know, Martian if you like. And then within that folder, it creates another subfolder called raw files. Okay. And you can see the example it's created here, which is this really neat little sort of preview year. And then within that, a folder called the, um, you know, year, month, day, and within that, a folder called raw. And then when it's done all that, it displays a little notification on my screen that says all the photos have been copied to the hard drive. Now, because I started taking JPEG images as well, I've been experimenting with Fujifilm's most awesome film simulations. I set up a second script which checks the same SD card and it runs a very similar script, but this time it's looking for files that start with JP. Sometimes they're JPEG and sometimes they're just JPG. And it creates a different folder. And we can go in here, we can see that it does the same year and date thing here, but then it creates this internal uh, subfolder called JPEGs and it copies all the files in there and gives me another notification. And I just leave this script running all the time. It's just running in the background. And when I come back, I just put my SD card in the computer, go off and make myself a coffee. And when I come back, it's copied all these files over to my main photo drive and I can then go through transferring them into Lightroom or however I'm going to process them. I'm also going to add a new uh, script in here, which will look for 
uh, movie files on the drive and transfer those over to my main uh, video drive. And it'll do a similar thing, but in here, just to be different, <laughs> I've got them all named in the standard European um, day, month, year format, but I'll add that to the script. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys, if you're like me and just get a bit tired of transferring all those uh, files over. This is a really neat way of doing it, and uh, I hope you find it useful. Thank you.